it's actually to be here with you today. And um, I asked you last time to speak about toxins and their effect on our bodies. And I hope everybody will enjoy it, even if you watch it later. And James is the CEO and founder of Vitamin Detox Secrets. And he is helping people with stress, fatigue, and low energy to detox their bodies using the power of vitamins. And he has a special gift for you. Well, in fact, two gifts for you today. Um, you can download his free detox checklist today from his announcements page on your group if, if you join his group. And a wonderful gift, a free 30 minutes consultation with him for free as well. So don't miss it out. From this presentation, I'd like to give you our body's fight with toxins and its information. So what am I going to cover here? There are three things. So what are toxins and where do toxins come from? And health concerns and effects of toxins in our body. So we are exposed to toxins every day. Uh, which can overburden the body's natural ability to detoxify. These days, people feel very fatigued and low energy every day. In modern days, people are chased by everyday lives. Not only that, people are bombarded with different types of foods, varying from processed foods, fast foods, and thousands of added artificial sweeteners. But also, stress causes various unexpected problems to modern society and afflict people negatively. For some people, results can come out as headache, constipation, diarrhea, allergy, overweight, depression, anxiety, pain, etc. So our body has natural way to detoxify ourselves, uh, it's fortunately. However, if our detoxification system is not working correctly, then it can cause inflammation, which we know as cancer, vascular disease, diabetes, etc. So what are toxins? Toxins can disarray the body's flow and natural order. And they can be classified as endotoxin, which is produced within our body. And exotoxin is introduced from outside of our body. So endotoxin is produced naturally from the body, just from digestion and breathing. So for example, when foods such as meats, dairy food, if eggs are taken, our body breaks them down to protein and fat, as you know. And as byproducts, urea and ammonia is produced. Also, when you overeat, foods that are undigested in the stomach become decayed and can produce toxins. Also, when you breathe air, free radicals are produced. These free radicals are produced as mitochondria, convert oxygen when we are breathing. And free radicals play an important role in our immune system. However, more than unnecessary production of, of these free radicals can actually have very strong impact on uh, nearby substances. What, what they mean is it attacks nearby cells and it is known to one of the factors of aging. So stress stimulates and aggravates the toxins already in residing in our body that have been built up for a long time. But besides in the toxins, these are exotoxins. So exotoxins are in toxins introduced into the body from the outside and are the biggest factor that threatens the health of people now, nowadays. They come from the polluted environment and harmful toxins from chemicals, heavy metals, and even food we eat every day. Our society is based on fossil fuel industrialization has given side effects which caused serious contamination in soil, air, and water. The world has become polluted by the indiscriminate uses of spraying of pesticides and herbicides and the dumping of municipal sewage, domestic and industrial waste, fertilizer, and radioactive materials. Not only that, heavy metals, environmental hormones, and organic chemical compounds are detected in our tap water. In addition, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxide and soot generated during the combustion process of petroleum fuel are polluting the atmosphere. So toxins are very problematic because they are extremely harmful and can bring detrimental consequences to our body. And it is very difficult to believe that our body from head to toe is already exposed to the risk of toxins. And from various pains to chronic fatigue, skin disease, eye disease, muscle disease, allergies, insomnia, depression, dementia, diabetes, high blood pressure, 
cancer, AIDS, mental illness, and incurable diseases. Toxins are just the root of all of those diseases and more. And even though toxins are squeezing our necks, people treat this matter as if fiddling with while Rome is burning because they do not recognize this as very immediate threats. Some people don't even know that toxins are the cause of their illness. So if you get sick, only the painful area is treated. And if it is still does not do the job, people start pouring drugs to their body and perform surgeries to cut off affected area. Uh, in the end, it is so-called symptomatic treatment that does not solve the fundamental fundamental problems and cops with the symptoms at the, at the time only. And this provides a very good environment for toxins to start around. Because of this upside down treatment, it is impossible to estimate how many people suffer from pain and face death. So as toxins afflict our body or our mother, mother earth, it becomes much more aggressive and become active. This is the reason why we need to clean our body and environment so that we do not create aid on environment for toxins to be active. Of course, it is difficult to live in an environment to completely avoid toxins since our environment has been already damaged and contaminated by genetic predisposition or people's recklessness. However, let us not neglect our own body and toxins to become the cause of the disease in our body. So, let us pledge our, ourselves to take care of our body by avoiding toxins entering and removing toxins from our body. Detoxification is not a cure for all. However, it helps to overcome diseases by reviving our body's immunity and reverse our body back to its natural state by enhancing our own natural healing abilities. So where do toxins come from, right? According to a report released by U.S. Congress about the risk of toxic chemicals in cosmetics and shampoos by the National Institute of Occupational Safety, various cosmetics products contain over 800 toxic chemicals. 800, not even eight. So these chemicals have the potential to cause cancer or leukemia, hair loss, fine wrinkles, loss of memory, reduced nerve function, premature miscarriage, and chronic fatigue in the human body. Heavy metals can also be considered as a source of toxins that attack our bodies. Children's toys or cans contain a large amount of lead. Paint contain lead, mercury, cadmium, and aluminum, which makes a heavy metal cocktail. Tobacco smoke contains hundreds of heavy metals, such as lead, cadmium, and arsenic. Etc. The amalgam used to treat cavities in our teeth contains a large amount of mercury, which can lead to mercury poisoning. And kitchen utensils or aluminum cans contain aluminum, which can cause Parkinson's disease or dementia. And aluminum can become corroded when used for a long time. And when acidic foods are cooked at this state, it can cause arsenic release and result in dizziness intestinal inflammation, gross disorders in children, and atopic dermatitis. Metals can be very dangerous even in very small amounts because once they accumulate in our body, they are not likely excreted outside of body. These toxins are likely concentrated inside fats and are difficult to excrete outside of the body. Thus, can be very harmful over a long period of time. Instant foods such as ramen, hamburgers, pizza, and processed foods such as sweets, bread, beverages, and ham contain food additives, refined sugars, chemical colors, preservatives, and chemicals such as sodium. So tell me, I mean, what do they do, right? What are those effects? What are the toxins effects to our body? So styrofoam or plastic contain containers produce dioxin, which can disrupt our endocrine system. So this dioxin is one of those toxins. And endocrine system is our body system that consists of endocrine glands and the hormone they, that they secrete. And they can heavily uh, threaten our health. So what does that disrupting endocrine system mean? Toxins such as dioxins may mimic or interfere with the body's hormones. There are health concerns related to reproductions, cancers, thyroid, obesity, and metabolism, etc. So other types of toxins called BPA or 
bisphenol A is a chemical and one of the toxins that are introduced in our daily lives that is added to many commercial products, including food containers. They are also contained in items packaged in plastic containers, canned foods, toiletries, feminine hygiene products, thermal print receipts, and many more. There was a study, and in this study, there was people who have been eating one serving of or either fresh or canned soup daily for five days. And the urine levels of BPA, bisphenol A, were about 1,221% higher. Roughly 1,000% higher in those who consumed the canned soup compared to people who did not. So is BPA detrimental to your health? Well, it may cause infertility in men and women linked to heart disease and type 2 diabetes, premature delivery, asthma, even liver, thyroid, and brain malfunction. And what's surprising and what's very disturbing is that toxins do not decompose, but if they are stagnant, they are immediately linked to the cause of the diseases. So there are various diseases that can cause as much as symptoms. Accumulation in the liver causes liver disease, such as fatty liver, liver cancer, and accumulation in blood causes cardiovascular diseases, such as cerebral infarction, senile, dementia, and heart failure. And accumulation in the skin can cause a skin disease such as atopic dermatitis. Symptoms caused by toxins include digestion, headache, back pain, cold, bad breath, allergies, depression, and decreased concentration. Chronic fatigue, acne, obesity, high blood pressure, kidney stones, and you name it. So there are just so many of them. For this reason, in order to live healthily, you must do your best to detoxify toxins from our body. So we went over many topics that have covered what are toxins, where the toxins come from, and health concerns and effects of toxins in our body.